Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Game Fish Simple. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing the second part of my How to Breed Angelfish series. So in the last episode, we were talking about how to get the eggs from your angelfish. Now I've covered all of that, we've got the eggs, and we are now onto the stage of hatching them. So I like to hatch my eggs obviously separate from the parents, it lets me have a bit more tank space and also lets me get a few more normally um, than I would, a few more fry than I would normally get. So today, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna update you with what the process is of the eggs hatching, so all the stages. Today we are three days after the eggs were laid. So the eggs have just started to hatch and we can also see the eggs that aren't fertilized and have got fungus on them. So I don't really like to touch the eggs or do anything to them. I like to just kind of leave them. Um, but you'll got, you guys will get to see they've hatched now, so they're gonna, they're wigglers now. And a few of them fall to the bottom or whatever. But uh, this is the first stage, then they will become a bit more profound and they'll become a bit more better shaped so I'll show you that in a couple of days time and then I'll show you them free swimming and what we do after that so let me show you the fish so we have got our angelfish in this little jar here and as you can see the leaves have quite a few of those white dots so those white dots are eggs that have not been fertilized and they have grown some fungus on them that's just what happens so it looks like we've got quite a few today but lucky for us, a lot of the angelfish have fallen to the bottom. So if you have a look down here, the angelfish eggs have just started to hatch and we've got a really good batch here. So there's quite a few of them and they're all ready to go and they're all ready to uh, start to get a bit more profound. So this is the first stage. I'll catch up with you guys in a couple more days when they're a bit more bigger and a bit better shaped. Okay, so it's been another two days since I recorded these guys. And as you can see, we have some eyeballs forming and quite a lot of shape. So, Every now and then one of them will just start to swim and uh, like run around the top and kind of like not do anything but they're just starting to get to the age where they uh, fall off. So you can see they're all wigglers at the moment. They have a tiny hair that attaches them to the leaf and then they just wiggle until they see like you can see up the back there's a guy swimming around. So that's all they're doing at the moment. So this will, they'll unattach from that and then they'll become free swimming. So there's a heap down the bottom. I don't know how well you guys can see but there's a whole group of them down the bottom, so we've got quite a few. So yeah, you can see the stages that they're at right now. It has now been another two days since I last recorded, and as you can see, these guys are just starting to become free swimming. So in a couple of days, like not even a couple of days, just in probably another day, they'll be going into a breeder box, like you can see back here. So I have dropped just a tiny bit of brine shrimp in there, in case there are a couple uh, early bloomers that are able to eat so that they don't starve and so I don't know if you guys can see them but I've also started up another batch of brine shrimp over there so we're all ready to go for these guys to be able to free swim and yeah so that's what they look like right now okay so it's been another day since the last time I recorded and now these guys are all ready to go so you can see the jar is absolutely chock full of little angelfish fries so these guys uh, ready to eat they've been eating so they're ready to go and they're gonna go into this little breeder box so we're just gonna pour them in there but you can see we've got a huge brood of these guys so let's pour them in here you gotta make sure I get all the rest so these guys are now in the breeding box and as you can see they are all like grouping up because that's what they normally do but we fed them some baby brine shrimp that I prepared in the last little clip that you saw so these guys are now eating that, so it's important that these guys are eating straight away because uh, they just need to be eating because um, that's just how they grow. So they need to be fed like three to four times a day. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. So this is their first feed on brine shrimp and they're absolutely loving it. So they're already starting to eat it, as you can see. And yeah, so that's gonna pretty much summarize this episode of the series. In the next episode, I'll show you guys some little tricks on how to get these guys pretty big and up to this size and then that will pretty much conclude the series. So thanks so much for watching this guys and I'll see you in the next episode.